So let me show you how to set the dip switches on this thing. So I kind of had to figure this out. They don't really have it as part of the user manual, which I thought was kind of weird. It's got uh, these two silver screws right here. You don't want to disconnect. You don't, you don't want to unscrew those, okay? Uh, these black screws are the ones that you actually want to unscrew to access the dip switches. So I will go ahead and do that. Okay, and then once you've got all four of those screws off, the top plate just lifts off. Just like that. Okay. So you can see in here, um, I'm not sure how, how legible that is, but you can see in here that there's a chart that lists the, uh, the voltage set point. And then it's also got the delay. And I've got my delay set to 10 minutes. So um, once it goes below 12.7 volts, it'll wait 10 minutes. So that, that takes care of like hysteresis. If uh, you know, you've just got like a, a load spike or something that draws the voltage down, uh, it has to consistently be below 12.7 volts in order for it to shut off. So I've got a 10 minute delay. Uh, and that is, it's kind of, there's some wires in the way there, but I don't know if you can read that, but that's um, on off for, for, the, for the 10 minute delay there for pins for, or for switches three and four. And then I, for the 12.7 voltage, that's on off for switches one and two. And then you can see here, here are the dip switches. So one's on, two's off, three's on, four's off. And uh, you can just use a screwdriver to you know, flip those back and forth. I'll demonstrate that right here. That's off for pin one. That's on again, because it's labeled on at the top there. 